What is going on guys, Craig1287 here, I'm bringing you yet another Battlefield 4 gameplay, but that gameplay going on there in the background is just to serve as a as a backdrop for the discussion that I wanted to have for today's video. Now, many of you guys know that I am a PC gamer, you'll see that all my footage is always from the PC, I don't have any capture stuff for consoles, I do own consoles, I have a Wii U and a PlayStation 4, I've owned every console, major console, uh, that's come out uh, since like 1995, I've owned every major console, uh, around 93, uh, I did play consoles before that, but around 93 is when I primarily became a PC gamer, and it was things like Doom and uh, Warcraft, uh, blew my mind as to what they were capable of doing, uh, the year after that, TIE Fighter in 94 came out, and uh, blew my mind there for for being this 3D flight kinda in space and had Star Wars and and it was just it was just amazing for, for my uh, young mind at that time. And ever since I've been addicted uh, to PC gaming, I always own all the consoles because I don't want to miss out on the exclusive games like Uncharted, God of War, uh, back in the day Gears of War I actually enjoyed and Fable, but eh, their sequels kinda sucked. Um, but, and of course, Nintendo, they've got all their things. So, uh, I just, I love being a PC gamer. I love the, the advances that happen within PC gaming. And I, I just love the fact that in PC, you don't have generations. You just, when new things come out, they come out. New graphics cards from one company will come out. And then new ones will come out from the next one. And, and then they'll come out with, with a whole new genre, like, kind of classifications of them the, the you know you've got the 700 series and then the 800 series and and then they come out with the versions that are in those uh, series and then you've got Intel and AMD coming out with different uh, with uh, different CPUs and then you got Palmer Lucky and the and the Oculus guys coming out with a Rift and you've got just new tech coming out all the time and and adv new advances are happening all the time I just love that and right now there are are a ton of things going on it is super exciting uh, to be a nerd right now, to be a to be a PC gamer. Um, obviously, you know if you're if you're a budget kind of PC gamer and you just build you know PCs for around the three, four, five hundred dollar range, um, not too many. Of this is going to appeal to you because well, a lot of this stuff is expensive when it's the bleeding edge technology and just being released. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of R and D stuff that has to to get uh, paid off before they can start charging more reasonable prices. Um, but even then, uh, Steam Machines, there, there are reports leaking out now for, for, uh, CyberPower and, and, uh, some foreign company that I can't pronounce, but, um, their, their Steam Machines are coming out at around, like, uh, 400 and 300 dollars, uh, that are gonna be more powerful than the current consoles are at. I mean, that's great for, for budget, uh, PC gamers, but, I'm really interested in all the bleeding edge tech stuff. I've, I'm, I'm out of college. I've got a job and things like that. I got money saved up. So I am super excited to spend all of my hard earned money on these really, really advanced things, paying these people that have been pouring years and years of time developing these things. Uh, G Sync is going to be coming out soon. And I am so excited. I currently have a monitor from BenQ that is a 1080p monitor and it has 120 hertz. I, my mind was blown when I got to experience 120 hertz on a on an LED 27 inch monitor, the one that I'm using now. I got it uh, like uh, about two years ago, and and going from 60 to 120 was just it was a mind blowing experience. You you can't experience it on on YouTube. Uh, I mean, if you're I can upload 120 hertz uh, frame rate gameplay on to on a on a share website and you can't really do it through YouTube but I can just send you the file itself the raw 120 hertz thing but if your monitors themselves don't display that you can't see it and 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 I was just excited about it it was it, was, it sounded great and when I finally got my hands on it I was mind blown but uh soon Asus is going to be coming out with a world's first 144 hertz monitor that has a refresh rate, uh, that's its refresh rate, a m response time of one millisecond, which is handy dandy to have when you're gaming at these speeds, at the at this uh, frame rate. 
And it is a uh, 2560 by 1440p, uh, or by 1440, which is 1440p, also known as 2K resolution. And it's still a 27-inch monitor, which I'm perfectly fine with at the distance that I sit. That is the perfect size that I want. And actually, the smaller the monitor, the better the pixel density is going to be. So I'm very excited about that. But it is going to have G-Sync natively built into it. And I have been so excited about G-Sync, more so than than probably this monitor in and of itself. I'm probably more excited for it right now than I was right before I built the current computer that I have. And I typically go about two years for my computer builds. And um, this monitor is probably going to last me quite a while until they come out with a 120 or higher hertz uh, 4K monitor. And uh, so that will probably be quite a few years down the line. And this monitor just is mind blowing. The the features for it, uh, this the being able to game at uh, this higher resolution with a slightly higher frame rate that I, I'm currently gaming at. But G Sync, I am so excited about. And uh, I mean, it's it's expensive. It's probably it's I believe looking to cost me around seven hundred ninety nine dollars. Uh, this comes out in September. I'm but I'm super excited for it. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Now, of course. To take full advantage of this and to still be able to game at, at ultra settings, maxed out settings, uh, I'm going to need a new computer. So I'm probably going to be building a new computer soon within the next probably six months. Probably hoping to make a majority of my purchases come Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I would hope that a lot of these things are going to be released. I doubt all of the things that I want are going to be released. Uh, DDR4 RAM. Uh, has been making its way out there, and the price drops are going to be coming soon. They're actually in the process of dropping their prices down a bit. I would love to get some, I guess, 16 gig of DDR4 is probably all that I need, uh, or want. You don't really need that. This is, this is, all of what I'm saying is probably making me sound, this entire video is going to make me sound like the biggest PC elitist uh, on earth, because a lot of the stuff I'm talking about is just so over the top. I mean, we're talking thousands and thousands of dollars is what I'm going to be spending uh, over the next few months on the monitor and on the new computer. Uh, I'm also looking at getting a new, uh, looking at getting a new mo uh, keyboard. Uh, mechanical keyboard technology has gotten really, really good. They've got some solid keyboards out there that are just s you can type on them so smoothly and. Uh, and they've got them now backlit, which is the main reason I actually diverted away from mechanical keyboards was I really wanted one that was backlit so that I could game in the dark uh, for going to college and things like that. Uh, and um, so that's what made me switch over, but I'm, I'm really missing uh, mechanical keyboards. Uh, so I'm looking at getting like a 10 keyless mechanical keyboard that is Cherry MX uh, Blue is probably what I'm going to be getting. I loved that back in the day. It's incredibly loud, very clicky. Uh, I'm debating whether I can get that because it might come through in my commentaries a little too much while gaming and annoy the people on TeamSpeak whenever I'm chatting and clicking and you just hear the all that going on. So that could be annoying. I might have to just go with something uh, from Razer, their, their, uh, their own little things that they came up with for like the Black Widow. I don't, I don't believe their uh, official like actual Cherry MX Blue, but... I would just want, I, I miss mechanical keyboards, so looking to go and getting one of those, uh, the new monitor. Then also, uh, with the, the new RAM coming out, there's also the new line of CPUs from Intel. And this is just, I've been, my mind has been blown. Uh, as always, I will have links to all the things that I'm talking about uh, down in the video description. So if you want to check out uh, the new Haswell E uh cpus from intel then check out the link they've got their new um i7 uh 5960 5930 and 5820 uh now those last two are ending in k the la the first one the 5960 is ending in an x uh, it's still overclockable not really sure exactly what the x uh, signifies over the k other than it's the most ba1 out there not going to be getting that one. That one's 999 expected to be. Uh, it's it's way overkill for what I need. It's an 8-core, which games really won't capitalize on that. Granite consoles have 8 cores, not all for gaming, and they're just, it's, they have a very different architecture, but on the PC side, 
it, uh, drivers and patches and and the games are gonna not, not designed for eight core. They they won't really take advantage of that. For editing, that would be amazing. Uh, but I really don't need my videos to like edit before I even finish them and render. That that'd be be reaching into the future. Uh, I'm probably gonna get the five nine thirty K, which is a six core i seven. I currently have a a four core with uh, with hyper threading, which bumps it to uh, to eight cores in a way. Um, and they're going to have 40 lane PCIe support, PCI Express, which is the where your motherboard, that's where your graphics card plugs into. And because of that 40 lane, it's got a uh, it's got two X16 slots for PCIe X16. And that's going to allow me to get two really nice graphics cards. It's been a long time since I've really really wanted to go with Sly. Um two builds ago I had uh Sly and um you know, things are still a little iffy then. So now with these, uh, these, these new CPUs, these motherboards that are going to be able to support dual X16, that's really friggin' awesome. The CPUs, uh, looking to be around $583. So that again, incredibly expensive. I mean, that's w w yet another product. Uh, the monitor that I listed, uh, some of the RAM out there is probably going to cost me around $400. Yeah, I might go with the $300 range. Um, the CPU alone costs more than some people's computers out there that are straight up gaming computers more powerful than the current consoles. It's, it's, it's mind blowing how expensive this stuff is, but I'm super excited because I've got the money saved up. Uh, I'm very excited for that. And I've been looking at some of the, the performance, uh, leaks. Again, nothing is official yet, but I mean, some of these things are just ridiculous. The, the cache that's going to be on these, uh, CPUs is ridiculous. Um, Currently, the the 4790 from Intel, their their one of their high end CPUs has a cache size of eight megabytes. The one that I'm looking at getting the the 5930 has a 15 megabyte cache. That's almost twice as much. The the super high end one, the eight core one, has a 20 megabyte cache. That's that's crazy. Um, these things are just I, I I'll, I'll provide the link. You guys can scroll through. They got a whole bunch of slides that have leaked out. And uh, it's just craziness how powerful these things are going to be. And then, of course, to plug in this new RAM, this DDR4 RAM, and to plug in these new CPUs, you have to have a motherboard that fits it. you got to have one that matches the new socket type. And these new X99, that's the, the, uh, the series, you can say, for the motherboards, uh, have released, and a lot of people, the you know, EVGA and uh, ASRock, some of theirs have leaked, but the one that I come across, and I'll, again, link in the description, it just, if you're not a nerd, you know, you're, you're just laughing at me this whole time, but if you're a nerd, if you really appreciate these things, that, this X99 Deluxe from Asus, or Asus, or however you want to pronounce it, it looks so sleek, it looks so good, seeing eight of their RAM slots on there. Uh, I believe it's got, what, four different, yeah, four PCIe um, rails, or lanes, I guess you should would call it. And then just looking at the I.O. part of it, the input-output, they've got 10 USB 3.0 uh, ports, which is maddening. I just would love to try to figure out how to fit something into every single one of those. I don't have that many flash drives. I don't have that many external hard drives and things that would take advantage of that. I, I mean, keyboard mice are still on USB 2. Um, it's just, it's madness. This thing is a beaut. The way that the, the color scheme, I love the look of it uh, with the black and white coloring. There's even some hints of blue in there. It just looks great. It's a it's a good time to be a nerd, especially if you've got the money saved up. Again, I, if you guys are just shaking your heads and thinking this PC elitist guy spending thousands of dollars on on these way over the top things, you know, I'm I'm happy with my 30 frames per second. Hey, more power to you guys if you're happy with that. I mean, if you haven't experienced 120, you, I mean. I, Dude from uh, Matrix, uh, Cypress, not Cy Cypher, that's his name, Cypher from the Matrix uh, series, while well, he was actually in the, only in the first one, I guess, spoiler alert, he bites the dust, he mentioned to, to Agent Smith at that one time, you know, ignorance is bliss. So if you're happy with 30 hertz, or 30 frames per second, and you're happy with 720 and your 900p or 1080p, 
And, you know, hey, more power to you. You're happy. I'm happy that you're happy. Actually, I think this thing is a fifth PCI. Huh. It's craziness. Uh, you know, if you're happy, I'm happy that you're happy. That That's awesome. And you're you're happy and you're not even spending as much as I am. But the thing is, I, I find out about these things and I like to see tech move forward. I like to see advances in technology. I like to see things improve. And all these things cost money, so I like to compensate these people for doing all these things. I like to give them my money. It's it's fun. I, I work, I get money, I give that money to people that work. It's it's a great system how that ends up working. And things get better. And so, you know, I'm 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 happy to be an early adopter. I'm I'm happy to be the guys that get the bleeding edge uh technology when it's expensive. I'm I'm glad that I I'm so glad that I have the luck to be able to do that, that I'm blessed with with the ability to have this much money saved up and to not be living paycheck to paycheck. I mean, I'm, I'm so blessed in, in that regard. It's an awesome, awesome feeling. So I like to take advantage of that and actually put it to use and not just hoard all this money and, and just let it sit in my bank account for when I'm old and can't really use it. So... Of course, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not going through all my money. I'm not going to be on ramen noodles for the next few years, but I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I, I've got a budget. I know what I'm doing with my money. So, oh uh, man, this, this video ended up being quite a bit longer than I wanted. And there's actually some other tech things that I wanted to talk about, but, and even software side of things that I, that I didn't really get to. But, I mean, if you guys can't get the perspective, I'm super excited for all these things that are happening. It is a crazy awesome time to be a nerd, to be a PC gamer, to be people that like to be on the bleeding edge, because there's so many new things coming out. Uh, the Oculus Rift, I can't I can't wait for that thing to come out and just blow my mind. Uh it's gonna be it's gonna be an exciting time to be a a, a PC gamer and just a gamer in general, because you know, console people down the line, you guys will see some of these benefits. You'll you'll see the benefits of all the things that these Intel, AMD, NVIDIA AMD again, uh, that these guys have been pouring into their R&D to get these things out there and to make them more consumer friendly. So, hope you guys have enjoyed the gameplay going on in there. The background, if you stuck through this 17 minute video, props to you. You're awesome. I like you. You're a nerd, I would imagine, for sticking around this long. More power to you. Guys, hope you've enjoyed all of it. Have a good one. I hope you don't think I'm a PC dick elitist. Ta-ta!